You're listening to Feel Good Astrology with Louisa Tanner Munson. To request a personal reading with Louisa, go to www.feelgoodastrology.com. Hi, it's Louisa Tanner Munson from Feel Good Astrology, and I'd like to welcome you to this podcast about the North Node in the ninth house in your birth chart, and also what happens when the North Node transits through your ninth house. So there's some big themes coming up really, um, because the North Node is to do with our karma. <laughs> and we can't really consider the North Node without considering the South Node. Um, and also considering the ninth house against the third house. So in doing this um, podcast, we need to consider four things, I guess, um, to be able to resolve the idea of it. So let me start with what the, the North Node is. The North Node is that point of karma that shows what we're currently working on. Um, yeah, it shows it shows the lifetime that we've committed to. So if if you believe, for instance, that, you know, we have lifetimes um, to learn new things and then we have another lifetime. I don't know if you believe in life after death or irrespective of that, I'm sure you understand that um, we have things that we need to work on on a personal level. The North Node really shows us the direction. It it, it pinpoints what we are learning in this lifetime. Um, and the South Node, um, which is positioned at 180 degrees from the North Node, so it's exactly the opposite place <laughs> in your birth chart to your North Node. It's 180 degrees away. Um, the South Node shows what we've already got a level of innate mastery about. So if you go with the uh, past life model, um, the South Node represents what you've spent many lifetimes correcting and learning and mastering. Um, if you don't subscribe to South Life, uh, past life, sorry, past life um, ideas, then the South Node represents kind of what, what you've been born with really strong skills in anyway, you know, where your skill set is, um, what seems to be completely natural to you. So if you've been born with your North Node in the ninth house, for instance, your lifetime. So this lifetime is moving you towards a ninth house expression. Now, the ninth house is about um, expanded awareness and expanded communities. Um and expanded belief systems. The third house is easier to understand. It's the place of our early schooling, our early environment, the the people we um, interacted with at an early level, like our siblings, our neighbourhood friends, um, our school friends, our teachers. And it really describes how we learn information um, as children. So it's, it's, it's uh, information gathering, not knowledge. Okay. And the ninth house is the outer expression of that. It's what you do with that information. It's what you do with those kinds of friendships and that kind of environment. It's where you go from there. So the ninth house shows our knowledge acquisition, um, our belief system, um, where we position ourselves, where our external community is. You know, are we, the aspects that we have and the planets that we have in our ninth house really describe our attitudes to spirituality, beliefs, philosophies, and higher learning. So it represents universities or um, thought systems. It shows teacher being a teacher rather than being a learner. So the ninth house is a, a great house, actually, for explorers and stuff, for people that like to delve deep into life's mysteries. The ninth house is quite magical. The ninth house is traditionally ruled by Sagittarius, which again is about you know, most Sagittarians have quite big book collections <laughs> and probably not so much books these days because they're also quite um, keen on um, any kind of knowledge and keeping up with the Joneses. So probably, you know, if you're a Sagittarian, you know, 20 years ago, you'd have been buying books at um, at your local bookshop and going to libraries and things like that. But now you'll just be on podcasts all the time, <laughs> learning and acquiring stuff. Um now, Sagittarius, the opposite of that is Gemini, which traditionally rules the, the third house. The Gemini is, you know, about information and, and, and having lots of contacts and being a jack of all trades. So it's not um, well-rounded, well-earned 
knowledge that Gemini trades in. Gemini needs to know a little bit about everything and that's their survival strategy. So um, they're, they're the axes that we're exploring through this podcast, the third versus the ninth, the Gemini energy versus the Sagittarian energy. And it might not be that your third and ninth house are in the signs of Gemini and Sagittarius, but they're the rulers of that house energy. So that's why I mentioned them. So having the North Node at birth in the ninth house shows that your karma in this lifetime is to explore belief systems and explore um, traveling and journeying in your mind and in your life. So for instance, with a North Node in such, uh, sorry, in the ninth house, you might have um, a very strong need to explore and become a teacher or a professor or somebody who shares knowledge and teaches knowledge and shares experience as opposed to the kind of teacher that gives you information to learn from by rote. So you're unlikely to be um, um, a primary school teacher. You're more likely to be somebody who is a thought leader. Um, probably if you've um, got a ninth house north node, there's parts of you that think, hey, I should be doing a TED talk. <laughs> Thinking this is this is the culmination of where I'm going. This is what I need to be learning in this lifetime. I need to be an expert. I need to be really cool at it. Um, I guess the ninth house is like a place of gurus. Uh, it's guru energy. Uh, so you might have found that you've travelled far and wide and quite possibly emigrated and lived abroad because the need to explore and expand is huge in you. And you realise that you can't have a very well grounded life when your belief system is the same as the belief system that was indoctrinated into you in childhood. You realise there is a huge difference. And probably if you were born into um, a very secular um, very conservative lifestyle that you are the black sheep. <laughs> You're the person that um, scares others because you have such a strong nine ninth house energy or ninth house quest that you're on. And that is to learn more about what exists beyond what you were taught about. So I quite like the North Node in the ninth house. It, it gives us an opportunity to expand into new territories um, and to possibly let go of the belief systems that we've been born into. I know somebody who um, his life purpose is to explore religion, you know, and has studied religion, studied philosophy endlessly. I don't actually know his chart, but a ninth house north node would totally fit in there. Anyone that, you know, uh, can be quite theoretical with information and develop knowledge from it, you know, take theories and studies and reads copiously, will have a very strong ninth house. So the North Node here just shows that that's the journey you're on. So like, like I mentioned, you know, if, if you have, um, if you're born into an environment that supports that, like if you've got parents who are teachers or journalists, or, you know, if you, if you're born into environment, around people that consider thoughts and knowledge and and celebrate learning new things then your quest in this lifetime will be quite easy to achieve the biggest trouble is where where do you focus on you know because to become an expert at anything i guess you need to have a direction um but if you're born into a place that suppressed your belief systems and um suppressed your need to learn more about the world then this will be a lot more tricky so have a think about your own childhoods. And also if you if you're looking at your birth charts, I don't know what your knowledge of um, astrology is already, but if you can if you can see that you've got supportive aspects like sextiles and trines and conjunctions possibly depending on the planets to your north node, it'll be a lot easier for you to live by and express. Whereas if um you've got quite challenging planets and um aspects like uh, squares and oppositions then things could get quite tricky in expressing who you really are and feeling the true freedom of it so just to reiterate with a ninth house north node your challenge in life is to come out of the environment of your childhood out of the I'm learning things just so I know lots of things and um, I'm not going to be a jack of all trades necessarily because I've already done that I can do that easily your challenge is to become an expert and to um, travel far and wide whether it's physically or emotionally or spiritually um, 
to challenge your mindset and and to become a, a true teacher in your own right. Um, now, if the North Node is currently moving through your ninth house, then this again is is quite a nice aspect to have. It shows an eighteenth month span of exploration and moving. Um, so. Like, for instance, um, I've, I emigrated in this last year and the North Node has been in my ninth house. <laughs> so all those issues of um, language and culture, new ways of life, finding myself in a new position have been um, delighting me <laughs> and frightening me as well. So it's an expansion of my consciousness in some way. Um, you might find that if you're not moving somewhere far away, that you're taking a, a big trip, you're going on a retreat, but not just any old retreat, you're going on a spiritual retreat. Or it might be that you reach a time when you are ready to go back to university or go to college or study something or pay for a mentor or finding a mentor or becoming a guru. So there's lots of different ways your North Node traveling through your ninth house can actually inspire and challenge and change you. There's loads of ways for it to be expressed. And this is one of the nicer placements for the North Node to go into um, because it gives you a bit of a a bit of an inspirational year and a half. It gives you a, t- a chance to be reborn um, with a much altered and expanded mindset. It's very good. Um, also, with that all going on, it means your South Node has been in the, the third house, which shows that you find it very easy to learn bits of information and actually you need to you need to focus not on the information gathering but the the context and meaning of it so you know during this position like for instance with me just going to live in a new country I do find it really easy to learn new words of new languages so I've got probably um, a vocabulary in my new language um, of over 2000 words, I would imagine just because I pick them up very quickly. So third house shows where your, the third house north, the south node shows where your consciousness is already really, really quite good. Your skills are good there. But the challenge for me is, is stringing the words together. It's actually learning how to put all these different words together and create actual sentences and meaning. So that's how I'm expressing it at the moment. But again, you could be expressing it in so many amazing ways. Anyway, I hope this has been useful. Um, It's not too much of a distressing position uh, as North Nodes go, but if any of these themes have um, excited you or made you curious and you want to explore them in your own life, then feel free to drop me a line. It's Louisa, L-O-U-I-S-A, at feelgoodastrology.com. Take care. You've been listening to Feel Good Astrology with Louisa tanner Munson, and this recording has been made possible by all you lovely supporters at Patreon. To request a personal reading with Louisa, go to www.feelgoodastrology.com.